my mom kicks open the door and she's like, everyone shut up, I have news. Do you remember the first time you all met and what were your first impressions? I had met Walker at the first chemistry read. Mm -hmm. We had three, I think. Three with Leah and then I did one with Aryan. I expected like four people to like be auditioning for Grover at the chemistries. It was like a conga line of Grovers just like oh, yeah. marching just in. Funny. Well, you told us the first time I met you that you fell off a cliff. Oh, yeah. That is the yeah. best way to introduce yourself to someone. Hi, Walker, I fell off a cliff. Being my head up, got a concussion about six times. Also, my name is Aryan. Yeah, no, yeah, no. If you could play one other character in the series, who would it be? I'd say Aries. As an actor, I've always wanted to play a role like that. You're basically the same person. Yeah, I mean, I'm also six foot and jacked out of my mind, much like Adam Copeland. If I could play any character in the whole series, I'd say Nico. I really like Nico, but I like Percy. I hope they cast a really cool kid for Nico. What was the moment in the series you were most excited to film and how'd it go? I think the ton of love. It was really fun because I love swimming and everything, so the set around you was like a big vibe. I was playing with the Jets and I was underwater, so I couldn't hear them call action and they yelled action and the jet went full blast <laughs> and I flew through the shot and I hit the wall. He actually swam and was falling in the back of my shot <laughs> actually. Where were you when you found out you got cast? I was actually at school. I see it's like a bunch of people on this phone call and I'm like, hello? And then they're like, okay, Leah, we have to tell you something. They scared me, I thought I was in trouble. And they screamed so loud, they were like, you got the part for Percy Jackson? And I went in like the most craziest shock ever. I was hanging out with a very close friend of mine and my mom kicks open the door and she's like, everyone shut up, I have news. And she was holding her phone up and my manager was on the, uh, on the other end. And he's like, all right, you booked the job of Grover. And for like the next 45 minutes, I kind of forgot my friend was still there. And it was a lot of running around and screaming and crying. I was in my room, I had to do a Zoom call just with the producers. I got my Camp Athlete t-shirt on that I got in third grade. I got on the call and then Rick joined. I was really confused. I wondered why Rick was there, because we're just talking. And then him and Becky held up the book and then they told me I got it. It doesn't really, really hit you until you a couple did. days later yeah. in the middle of the night. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm Percy Jackson. If you were a demigod, which Olympian would you want to be your godly parent? I'd say Poseidon, so. Yeah, yeah. I want yeah. to Athena. I would say Hades, because I feel like his, his abilities are the most taxing on him, but there's so much room for improvement. If you could take anything home from set, what would you take? This is an We've easy already taken one. a lot of stuff. We've taken from a set. lot from set. Yeah. I would want to take Medusa's head. I want to see if I can get the myth and magic stuff. They did like hand drawn books and like they wrote custom cards, so I'm going to sell them like 10 years down the line when they're worth millions. It's a great idea. Yeah. I decided that if I couldn't get the Riptide, I'm just gonna ask for a moment alone with it. I wanna take Lin-Manuel Miranda. Which actor would you want to play you in a movie of your life? Adam Copeland. Oh, that's such a good answer. Oh, I'd say Kumail Nanjiani. Oh, he's awesome. Yeah. Zendaya, so I can look really good. You know? <laughs> Zendaya for me also, man. <laughs> I'd say Zendaya. If you had to choose one monster to fight in real life, which one would it be? Kronos. The Solo Lord Kronos. Of the I can take down Kronos <laughs> yeah, easily. Can, yeah, just one little tap, he's gone. Oh. What does he have? A scythe? The ability he's to control time? Finger. Big whoop. <laughs> what moments from filming do you hope make the blooper real? Oh, there's I... one where I like launched through a glass pane. Oh, I remember that. Oh my oh, god. I want that to make <laughs> I want that to make the cut. We were sprinting through uh the train in episode four, me and Leah are right behind Aryan and the door is open this way. And so Aryan stopped and tried to open the door and we both ran into him and he punched through the glass. <laughs> it was awesome. I felt really it cool. It was really cool. Uh, it shattered. Um, what's your favorite quality of your character? Yeah, Grover's really ripped and he's really good looking, which is something I also have, but I also admire them about Grover. I think that's how I relate to Percy too. He's jacked. Yeah. And I feel like I can really connect to him that way. That's why there's also <laughs> prosthetics, because you know, like they also add it to you right. when you don't have it. Yeah. 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 <laughs>